the story is he went up on top of the butte that eventually has his name and he looked around he saw how if you look all the way around you're surrounded by a circle of hills and he said this makes me feel like I'm down inside of a bird's nest surrounded by these sides but this is just beautiful here and then he supposedly said you know guys this is it this is where I'm staying this is where I want to be and this is good enough for Eugene Skinner and his family He was looking for the perfect spot, and he found it. So how come Skinner and Mary ended up here? They were both from New York. Then they, they hadn't been satisfied there. They traveled to Hennepin County, Illinois, and he, in fact, had been a cabinet maker, and he was a sheriff for a while. But life hadn't gone well. They'd had two little baby daughters die. So they were kind of sad and depressed, still looking for utopia. And they decided to go out west. And so in the spring of 1845, they took off in a wagon train to head to California. And they had an incredible trip. The story, we have diaries from that about how they had to lower the wagons down the mountains with ropes and so forth. The Skinners had almost no money, and Mary actually uh, picked up extra money during the trip. Uh, I think it was sewing gloves or shirts or something for the other pioneers, and that's how tough life was. And they made it over the mountains, and they made it down you know, where Sacramento is today, Sutter's Fort. And remember, this is Mexico. Sutter was Swiss, but he'd established this colony. When the Skinners wagon train with Bristow and some of their other friends arrived, they were immediately taken in by Sutter, and actually Skinner spent that winter working as a carpenter, working for Sutter. By spring, they knew they didn't want to stay there. An American couldn't own land unless he became a Mexican citizen. And, you know, people like Skinner aren't about to do that. They leave Sacramento, Sutter's Fort, heading north. Mary was pregnant by that time. And so Bristow and I think Dotson was with him. And so there was a party. They headed north. Of course, you know, all by pack and by horse. This, you know, that, was, that was not a wagon road. The California Trail was nothing but a horse trail. They did not come into our side of the valley. They didn't come into Eugene. They continued north, and they settled up there in Polk County by Dallas. But Skinner still didn't feel he found the perfect spot on Earth. He and Bristow and Dotson started talking, this still isn't right. And so they decided to head back down, and they got off the California Trail there by Monroe, crossed the Long Tom River, and basically you know, followed River Road down, down into here. You can see, for example, Skinner Butte easily. I mean, you know what, there's something over here. They kept going, and they got down to Pleasant Hill, and Bristow takes this, this place down there. He, he loves that. And then Dotson took something someplace up by the McKinsey or someplace. And, but Skinner still hadn't found his place. So they come right back down here. And he's looking around. At this point, we're talking about still the fall of 1846. At that point, other than Bristow, who was batching it out there at Pleasant Hill by himself, the closest other neighbor was up here in Corvallis. And Skinner was both a good businessman. He wanted a place he could make money for his family, but he also had a big heart and he was very sentimental about nature. You know, you put it together, he had both of an emotional vision, but he, as a practical businessman, he had it all plotted out. He picked the best spot. It's right there in the trail, great north-south, east-west communication, right on the river, uh, close to the old California Trail. This would be the best town site. This would be the ferry site. A perfect view of on top of Skinner Butte. So he knew what he was doing. When you think of from the very beginning, that cabin there, the first settlers around and on, to grow into the city that it is, it's really fantastic. He, he had a vision of the perfect spot on Earth, and he's going to go clear across North America to find it. And he found it!